Hello everyone, today I am going to show how to install 10 micro deep security manager with SQL Express edition. First I will install SQL Express and then configure it properly for deep security manager. Then I will install the 10 micro deep security manager. So first we need to download all these uh, prerequisite software to install uh, this deep security. So uh, I will uh, giving this uh, those link in the description box. So first we need to download the deep security manager. So we are downloading for uh, Windows uh, server. So let's just select for Windows and then click on download. So it will download. The next one we will download is the SQL Express uh, edition. So just follow this link and download this one also so it will download in here and the third one is uh, SQL server management studio or SSMS so you need to download from here so it will download in here so you will find all those files in your download folder one file is uh, still downloading yeah. Uh, yeah it's complete now so uh, the first step is we need to install the SQL server so to do that you need to click on the SQL Express and run as administrator then you need to download the media just uh, you can uh, use a uh, express core so click on download so once the download is complete then the uh, setup file will run So you can find the file in here actually. So this is your SQL Express. So click on run as administrator. Click on OK. So here is the extracted file. So uh, it, the setup file is uh, running. So you need to click on new SQL server standalone installation. So this one. Uh, the accept the license terms. Click on next. So it will uh, run some recommendation. Just click on next. Click on next. In the feature, you use SQL Server replication and just uh, this option, no issues. Just click on next. So you can use this uh, same option, just click on next. So in here, uh, SQL Server browser, it is disabled, so click on automatic in here and also tick this grant per, uh, perform volume maintenance so tick on here click on next
now in here you will use mixed mode sql server and your sa account so here give a password so we will use this password later and your uh, current user is already added so no need to add any other uh, user just click on next so it will take some time to uh, complete the installation maybe a uh, few minutes so after the installation uh, was success installation complete then you need to close this one and the next step is very important uh, because you need to configure some settings uh, in uh, sql server configuration manager so you can close this one you look for uh, sql server configuration manager so run this one so we need to do some uh, network uh, configuration so protocols for sql express click on that now you need to enable this uh, tcp ip click on in here and need to yes click on apply click on ok uh, but uh, also click on ip addresses in here and then uh, go to this uh, tcp port in tcp port uh, type 1433 okay so we need to do that click on apply click on ok otherwise your sql server will not connect with uh, deep security then click on sql server services and then uh, restart sql server sql express just restart the services starting services so if you do not configure this then you will get an error uh, when you run the deep security manager so you can close this one now we need to uh, install uh, SQL studio click on the packages and run as administrator So just click on install uh, it will not take much time so the sql server management studio is uh, complete so we need to restart in order to complete the setup so i'm going to restart the pc so after the restart click on sql server management studio So let's uh, authenticate with uh, SQL Server authentication. So give it, give your SA account name and give the password and try to connect. Let's see if it's connect or not. So if you have issues with connect a with sa account no problem you can still connect with uh, windows authentication okay uh, certificate issue okay let me take see take on this uh, maybe the services of the sql server is not starting yet can still uh, okay i have identified the issue 
uh, you can still connect with SA account just give the password of your SA account and in encryption you select it as an optional so then connect it will connect here so in the database section right click on the database click on new database now give it a name for uh, using a 10 micro so tmdb so i'm using tmdb and i am showing the database i'm saving the database from c drive to my d drive so let's say in d drive i have selected my database in here uh, same for the log in the log file i also use d drive so click on ok uh, ok let me check this error database is created now as you can see in here i've created it to the different uh, folder so uh, now here our sql accounts uh, uh, work is done uh, no need to uh, do any other uh, sql uh, work uh, we can uh, move on to our final level uh, to install the uh, deep security manager so here just click on the uh, file and then run as administrator it will take some time click on ok click on next accept next so click on next now in here in database name you are providing tmdb the new database that actually created uh, account name your sa account and give the password now click on next okay so now just click on st uh, start readiness check so uh, if you uh, see this uh, you know uh, page then uh, your installation is uh, almost complete because uh, we getting error when actually creating the connecting to the database so now just install deep security manager uh, here you need to give the code uh, for activation code in here so in my case i'm just continue without activation i will activate it later so keep uh, all settings as it is click on next so in here a username will be master admin give the password uh, enforce strong password you can enforce the strong, strong password uh, so just click on next create schedule structure regular check for security update you can check it here just click on next uh, we can configure uh, the uh, encrypt the master key later so click on next uh, install relay ena enable agent uh, you can uh, install this feature I mean it will be helpful for uh, later purposes so you can tick this one click on next so enable 10 macro feedback recommended uh, you can configure it no issues or you can skip this so now finally uh, click on install
so it is installing extracting file so it maybe take some time so the installation is complete now you can launch the deep security manager console you can just uh, finish in here So this is the link. I just click on advance and then click on answer because there is no SSL certificate. Uh, just give the account. In our case, it was master admin and the password. Uh, click on sign in. So here is the panel. So you will get a warning that said that SQL Express Server Database can manage up to 10 GB size limit. So if you have uh, with 50 uh, or less than 50 uh, agent, then it is okay, no issues. You can use the SQL Express. But if you have uh, more than 50 server uh, to connect, then uh, you need uh, SQL Standards uh, Server. So in here, it will see your managed computer in a and the dashboard in here uh, so in the, in the computer if, if you go there then you can see the PC in here so in the next uh, next video or next uh, next time I will show you how you can uh, 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 install the agent uh, to the server uh, you can uh, also do it in here also via script deployment script you, I'm, I'm uh, most of the time I'm using this this one deployment script uh, I don't have any server in here so if I uh, have another server then I will uh, show it in here just uh, select this Windows A agent deployment activate this one is very important activate uh, agent automatically after installation it is very important otherwise uh, your uh, agent will not be activated and it will not show uh, in here uh, and then just uh, you can copy this one or save save this file and then run this file uh, this PSON file to the uh, targeted uh, you know your targeted uh, uh, target servers so once you run this uh, you know PowerShell command PowerShell uh, file uh, then it will show in here so you will get your uh, uh, servers, uh, server uh, PC in here and then you can configure the rules and everything so in the in another video I will uh, you know configure all the rules and and uh, how can you uh, manage your servers uh, 10 micro uh, deep security server servers uh, more efficiently uh, so uh, that's it for today uh, thank you